In this video, we'll tell you the story of a large gain of unexpected wealth, success and death. Join us in exploring the history of the Sosa Suarez family and their now abandoned 112-year-old mansion in Portugal. If you like our content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we publish a new video and also make sure to check out our Patreon page. This picturesque mansion belonged to José Alvarez and his large family. In his childhood years, he had lost his parents and was left with no resources. He studied botany in Brazil and discovered a new medicine that was very successful and sought after, and it allowed its inventor to make a large fortune in only a few years. He registered it under the name Peitoral de Cambara. With his newly gained fortune, he commissioned building a new park called Parque de Sousa Soares that featured a primary school. He married in Brazil, but the premature death of his wife made him decide to return to Porto and continue his business from there. In Portugal he met his future wife Maria, also known as the beloved Viscountess. During the early years of their marriage, the couple lived in Porto and José was granted the title of Viscount by King Carlos in 1904. After that, they purchased a piece of land to build their own house. In 1906, the Santa Cruz house was inaugurated. In 1911, at the age of 65, Jose died of an unknown cause, leaving his wife in charge of the three companies based in Pelotas, Porto and Paris. For that particular time, the Viscountess was a very cultured woman, since she could read Spanish, French, Italian and even German. She personally organized meetings in the Santa Cruz house to conduct her business. In this same house, important historical events were held where famous illustrious people of the time met, such as the inauguration of the electric light in 1928. The house was always known as La Casa de la Viscondesa because it was her alone who took the family and the companies forward at the time, leading them to become what they are today. She was a true businesswoman in the middle of World War I. Knowing all this, we wonder what could have led to the house being completely abandoned. Unfortunately, there are things that only the family could tell us. In the simplified version of the story, the grandson refused to sell the house to people outside the family, leaving him with barely any options.
we can see that their children had clear intentions of splitting up the assets because there was an inventory list of all the furniture in the house. But over the course of time, things happened that led to no one coming to collect said items or to take charge of the house. Thus, it was completely forgotten. Now, over a hundred years later, we can only go through each room imagining everything that happened here. The decisions that were made, the good times and the bad. All the life that was conceived and lost. Until eventually, at some point in time, one of them became the last to close the door forever, never to be opened again. If you would like to support our work, please consider pledging on Patreon. We offer a variety of perks such as early access to our videos, hoodies and t-shirts. Thank you for watching.